We are, we are very much involved. We, we take it as a business imperative for, for being involved in climate change. We've just moved on to new offices where we've tried to be uh, environmentally friendly. We are close to public transport with the how train, tra having people travel from the airport, just taking the how train and getting off the bus, just close to our offices. In the office itself, we've made sure that uh, the lighting just goes off when people are not around, so as to save energy, being energy efficient, and we are trying also to reduce the paper that we are using in the office. And also as part of the company we have what we call Vision 2012, where we are looking at how we can contribute to sustainability. We are doing environmental sustainability reporting where we report on the amount of paper that we've used, the amount of energy that we've used, potable water, and the safety and health aspects as well. So we are very much involved and also on the consulting arm, when we do work for clients, we try and you know put forward measures that can contribute energy efficient, efficiency and also uh, reducing their carbon footprint. And also in meetings we've put in uh, a teleconferencing, since we are a global company, so we, when we do uh, meetings, we use the, the teleconferencing facilities, thereby reduce, reducing transport and our carbon footprint. I think it's not a choice. It's, you know, the way the world is going towards. It's a business imperative. Government are policy makers, but the implementers in the main are the private sector. So to make it happen, to make the green economy happen, the private sector needs to be involved in looking at their processes if they are a manufacturing plant, looking at using less water, less energy, and also that it needs to translate to their home environment because you need to, you know, to live a sustainable life, to live the life and not just do it only at work when you are doing business, but also at, at home. And that is the way for the future, that's what I believe. I think the business leaders should bite the bullet. It's a paradigm shift, so they need to put processes in, in place, see how they make the policies that government have put on board to make them implementable and, ta and, take, the, and take the lead. And I, I believe in the long term, it's not a question of short returns, but in the long term, the value thereof as part of, you know, as we know, business is there to make money, but then make money in, a, in an environment which is sustainable. You don't want to make money and then maybe 10 years down the line, uh, things have just fallen apart. And also coming from the whole uh, global financial crisis, I think the message, the groundwork is there. So I would say business have to put in place systems to make the whole concept implementable.